Hi, Alana here. Welcome back to my classroom and a new unit study story. Honey Bee Hattie's Buzzy Day. Once upon a time, in a beautiful garden filled with colorful flowers, there lived a little honeybee named Hattie. One sunny morning, Hattie buzzed around her hive where she lived with her family. Hattie remembered how she started as a tiny egg, then grew into a larva and finally transformed into a beautiful bee. I can't believe I was once so small, she thought, fluttering her wings. As Hattie flew out of the hive, she met her friend Bumble, a bumblebee. Did you know there are many types of bees, Bumble said. Some of us are honeybees like you, while others are bumblebees like me. Hattie nodded, excited to learn about her buzzing friends. While they were chatting, Hattie pointed out her shiny wings and tiny stinger. Look at my wings. They help me fly from flower to flower, and my stinger is for protection. Bumble added, don't forget our antenna. They help us smell and communicate with each other. Hattie and Bumble decided to visit the nearby flower patch. As they landed on a bright sunflower, Hattie explained, when we collect nectar, we also help flowers grow by spreading pollen. Yes, this is called pollination, Bumble chimed in. Without us, many plants wouldn't be able to produce fruits and seeds. After a busy day of collecting nectar, Hattie returned to the hive. Bumble followed her. They watched as Hattie's fellow bees turned the nectar into sweet honey. I've heard that honey never spoils, Hattie said, her eyes sparkling. Some honey's been found in ancient tombs and is still edible. As the sun began to set, Hetty said goodbye to Bumble and flew back to her hive. Hattie thought about how important it was to protect her home and the flowers she loved. We need to keep our garden safe, she said. It's our job to help friends thrive. As Hattie snuggled into her cozy spot in the hive, she felt proud of her day. She had learned so much about being a bee and how important we are to the world. After a happy buzz, she drifted off to sleep, dreaming of more adventures to come. Thank you for joining me today. Ask your parents to like and subscribe if you want to hear more of my creature stories. If you would like to turn this story into a homeschool unit study, you are welcome to check out my suggested activity pages at my TPT, that's Teachers Pay Teachers store. It's linked below. Creature Tales, Bees Highlights. This is some of the activity pages you will find in my TPT store. Join or follow any of my social media groups, Creature Tales with Alana, to access my homeschooling resources and stay updated on new lessons. Or check out my Google Sites and look for some free pages. Thanks again. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.